This video will show the new 11.1 .1 visualizations available in reporting. I'm going to demonstrate all the available interactions on the visualization, including filtering leveraging browser side cache data, how to work with extra data, and the visualization recommender. You can select data from the metadata tree, drag and drop directly onto the canvas. Visualization Recommender will automatically generate the best chart based on the data being selected. And if I do not like the visualization that's being generated, I can select an alternative one. We've added the percentage sizing option. You can now use percentage or pixels or a combination when to size a visualization. All our visualizations are responsive, meaning they will resize, re-render, and re-layout based on the available canvas size. When I shrink this visualization, you can see the visualization re-renders and the bars are shorter. If I continue to shrink the canvas size, the legend is going to move from the top right to bottom, and y-axis labels are also omitted. This is us trying to maintain the optimal view based on the available screen size. We've also added many other properties for visualizations, such as custom palette, show value label, and many properties to customize legends, uh, axes, and even background. When authoring a visualization, there is a new slot available now. It's called Extra Data. I can include additional data as a report author in this visualization. The extra data will become available for the report consumers to use when analyzing the visualization. There is a new filter dialog built in on all new visualizations. This is available for both report authors editing the report in preview mode and for report consumers when viewing the report in HTML format. I can filter this visualization by using data that's used to make up the visualization. Or, as you can see, I can use extra data that's not visually projected on the visualization that was made available by the report author. You can see the performance is very good because I'm not going back to the database to return result sets every time when I perform a filter action. I'm simply interacting with data that's already been retrieved from the database and is now cached on the browser side. This extra data and interactivity is also available when viewing a saved report output in HTML format. Zoom in and zoom out option is also available on most of the visualizations in this version. We've also added new visualization types, such as bullet, hierarchical packed bubble, merimackle, and tree map. Thanks for watching.